everyone. My name is Oliver. I'm eight years old. Now I will tell you a story about South Street School. Wait a minute. And the name story is Jenny Busy Day. Today the room two is sitting in the class. They are talking a lot about their some about the some what they do in the summer. Then Mrs. Miller knocked on the door and come in. Mrs. Miller said, I have some new good news here. If our class read 100 books, uh, read 100 book, I would do something wacky. Something wacky? What's that? Mrs. Miller said, I'm like our dance on the roof. I eat some worm. Um, I let someone throw a pie onto my face. Wow, can all our class do it? Yes, but everyone has to got a pie or something to throw. Then he said, but only when you read 100 books. Okay, the class say, we have fun to be worried. We have Trina, the reading superstar in our class. Trim says. Then Trina's. Then when Trina gets home, she told her dad to take her to the library. She takes lots of long chapter books. Then dad said, After, "Can you read this in a week?" Yes, I can. Then Chen, Chen start to read, read, read a lot. Then another day is the football game, but there's two team. One team it's girl and one team's boy. Um, they, the girls team have only. The girls team only eight girls, but the boys has nine girls. Two two girls in two girls in the girls in the girl team has been sick, so now we only have we only have six girls, but in the boys team is have nine nine boys. All the girls have to play hard. Chen and her, all the girls' parents, or the two team parents, sitting in the chairs and watch the football game. Then suddenly Chen Na shoot the ball, but it's but the boy has catch it and kick it. So Chen Na Na. Chenna's mom say Chenna have to run a lot today. Then when Chenna come home, she's sick, but she still check the chapter book about the wizard to read. When she finished the chapter book, she told that to bring another chapter book chapter book to her from the library and bring these long chapter book back to it but he have to bring he have to buy some shorter chapter book to her to read and he says okay he bought a lot of shorter chapter book so now she has finished five book and the and the highest and the high Highest number in room two is fifteen. Cup. Chen. Chen have read fifteen book. He says everyone read. Everyone, if if you listen to me, you or you we or do the Mrs. Miller do something lucky for us to watch. 
so they read all the um, people, all the students in the class read and read a lot. When it's time for lunch, the class go into the um, the room to eat lunch. Then when they finish it, all the students stay there to uh, stay there to read books. Then they can then they go to sleep when they are really sleepy. Then, as the afternoon, Miss Miller came. Miss Miller, congratulations, room two. You you read one hundred eleven book. Wow, we read one hundred eleven book because of China. She have helped us. She read. She reads twenty book now, and that's the highest number in our class. Thank you, China. Jim said, "It's okay." Then he says, "I do something lucky to you. Come to the gym this afternoon. This afternoon, all the student in room two goes to the goes to the gym room, and they can dunk." They can dunk the principal into the water. If they throw into the circle, if we throw into a target, then all the students throw. Cannot throw one more. It didn't hit the target. It hits the prince. It hit the principal hips, and then he fell out of the pool. Sorry, Miss Miller. It's okay," said China. Then, when they are finished dunking the principal into the pool, the principal came out. He he is really really cold. He catch a cold, so he have to stay home for two days. And when fin. And then all the students came home. Now Chena read and read and read the chapter book. Now she is finished of it. Then she bring, she goes into, she look at the boards in the school. She see, she sees that it says, that is, that it says that she has the. Ha, she has finished all the book that the board says. It's only thir- thirty-five book, and she's finished all of it. Then, when it's time to come home, Miss Miller says that he wants to meet Jenna. Then, when he sees Jenna, what does he give to her? He gives to her um chapter book. A A chapter book about the witch, the witch and her cat. When Chenna says thank you to him, but when she came home, she read it. She's real. She read it. She's real scared of it, so she put it in the bookcase, and she never touch it again. And that's all. Here's another story about Carrier's Day. Carrier's Day. Today is Carrier's Day. So all the students very happy. They have to call one of the people in there, one of the people in the family, and take them to the class to show um to show their class his job. So, all all the students bring a people in the family, but Greg, but out of Greg, he bring who does he bring? He brings his grandfather. He's really old, but he's doing a he is a firefighter. When he came back to that school, he's really happy. He said. Says hello, everyone. Everyone's happy again. Says, Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike, can we steal that truck again? Mr. Mike 
on copies on command says, oh, okay, you can steer it later. So, so when they are talking, finish about talking the shop, Mrs. Brown came in. Mrs. Brown is trim, is trim grandpa. And she his shop sell ice cream. So, so he say him says to now I want to give you something here. And then you can go out and see his fire truck. Can I do that? Mr. Mike? It's okay, but you have to promise that you'll do it faster. Okay, Mr. Mike. Then Mr. Brown said, My job is selling ice cream, the class says. Then he put in, he says, The treats I bought, I bought to you well, will melt right away. So dig in, kids. So all the kids start to eat the ice cream. It's really yummy. And he didn't forget to give Jim one to give Greg one too. And Mr. Brown gave to him his brown say, um, um it is faster on it will melt out. But his ice cream when it's melt out, it will not be yummy anymore. So when they finish eating it, all the class line up to line up to get into to go to see the fire truck. And when they go see the fire truck, can help Uncle Mike said, "Who wants to steer the fire truck?" Not me, says Kara. I have to. Uh, I can sit in a dirty truck like that. I'm wearing these beautiful clothes. So when, so when they said, when Uncle Mike accepts that sentence, Chenna says, me, me, I want to sit into the fire truck. I never did that. Last year, I haven't did that yet. Okay, Chen, now put on this hat. Now get on the fire truck. I'll take you... I'm um, go. I'll take you for a ride around the school. Okay. Then, they go. Chen, I can go around the school. When Chen, I goes down, suddenly they hear sound. A woman says, here, mittens. Here, goes here, kittens. Mitten is her, the little, the little cute kitten's name. Then he says, excuse me. Then Uncle Mike says, excuse me, kid. This is an emergency. Then he, um, then he takes the truck to the woman place to the place where the woman's standing. That comes stuck in a really, really tall tree. He says, don't worry, I'll help you. Then he took a really tall ladder to the place where the little kitten's standing. Then he took us down. The woman says, thank you to him. Then he asked one time, who want to steer the fire truck for? Uh, all the kids want to steer, steer the fire truck. On, only Kara don't, doesn't want to steer the truck. That's, that's all. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.